Kelvin Hepner with Real Agriculture. We're in the Inventors Showcase here at Manitoba Ag Days in Brandon and joined by Hugh Hunt with Dave's Machining. And uh, Hugh, this yellow unit behind you looks sort of like a, a tile plow, but this is something different from a, a conventional tile drainage system. Can you fill us in on, on yeah. what it is, how it works? It's a low cost alternative to drain tile and uh, it works in heavy clay soils. So we're, we're pulling a four inch bullet uh, behind this unit, and uh, the idea is that, that in heavy clay, it'll, it'll form a four inch channel in the ground, and uh, we've set it up, uh, designed this machine to, to run off RTK GPS so we can, can set these, these tunnels on grade and uh, get, get our drainage. So we'll design a field just like you would with drain tile, but we're, we're not laying any tile, we're just running these channels through the ground, and in heavy clay soil, they'll stay there and uh, provide drainage. So, so it's low cost alternative to, to drain tile, it, especially in heavy clay soil. So. Okay, does it require heavy clay to maintain that structure? It, it does, yeah. yeah, yeah. So essentially you're, you're creating a clay tile within the ground and uh, so it, it, it takes that heavy clay and then, then it helps having these runs on grade so they'll, they'll kind of keep clean just, just from water flow through them, so. This concept is used in other parts, other parts of the world. It's used extensively in Europe and, and Australia and New Zealand. I mean, it's it's been used over there for a hundred years. But but over there, uh, they're smaller machines. They they don't have them set up with GPS. So we've designed this for for our North American 500 horse tractors and and set it up for GPS so we can we can pattern pattern uh, tile a field. Uh, and, and get it to drain properly. So, so how deep can you can you go, or where where we, do you need can, that clay to come to? We can go five feet deep, but but generally we'd be working in that two to three foot area. So, okay, is there any uh, implication from driving over over these these Not, not at pipes, that or? at that level. We're we're deep enough, so tr wheel traffic really isn't bothering it. So, okay, over what sort of time frame do they deteriorate then? Well, we don't know that yet here. You know, it's, it's a new concept in North America. Uh, in, in Europe, they're seeing 10 to 15 year life out of these runs. Uh, I don't really expect we're gonna see that, that type of life here, but, but if we can get five years out of them, I, I guess I'm, I'm feeling pretty good with it because it's low cost. I mean, once you buy the unit, it's, it's just time and fuel, so. Mm -hmm. You don't have the cost of the, the pipe and the, the filter right. and all, yeah. all that sort of thing. Yeah. Okay. We all know that we need, we need further subsurface drainage, and this is a low cost alternative to, to get some of that. So. Okay. So how large a geography do you see this fitting in, in terms of soil type? Well, initially we're, we're starting in the Red River Valley, right? Because that's, that's where we have a, the tightest soil. It's where we're typically the wettest, uh, where we, that's where I farm and, and where, where I feel that we really need subsurface drainage. But in talking to, to growers coming by the booth here, I mean, there's, there's guys out in Saskatchewan that want to do it. There's, there's guys up by Clear Lake that want to do it. Uh, so it's, it's going to be a pretty widespread, I believe. So. All right. Well, thanks for taking the time and enjoy the rest of Ag Days, Hugh. Yeah, thank you.